With this upcoming season of Operation Dread Factor, we have an amazing addition to the training grounds. And luckily, I got to play the new season very early. This meaning that I basically just got to sit in the training grounds and figure out the best routine that I can give you guys to practice your aim and perfect your sensitivity. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of the best ways to utilize the training grounds area. And if you guys find this helpful, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment. And let me know how difficult you're going to find it on a controller. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So first thing you're going to want to do is go into options over here. And let's start with the easiest way to warm, warm yourself up. We're going to put it on 30 seconds. Make sure it is on dummy. Make sure the dummy HP is on 100. Always have headshot only no matter what. Maximum targets, we're going to put it to two. Target move speed, just put them idle. Random, um, put it near distance and let's get it going. Now for this, you just want to warm yourself up. It doesn't matter what you do. If you one tap only, if you spray, you just need to warm yourself up and get used to how Siege feels because after a long day of being either at school, work, or just being slumped in your bed for 15 hours because you were meowing in a discord, um, you, you need to warm yourself up. As you can tell, I have not warmed up. Cool voice crack as well. Now, I would suggest maybe doing one to three of these just so you can warm your ass up. It doesn't matter if you're just going one tap only or spraying your entire mag as long as you just get your flicks down and your hand used to holding a mouse or your thumbs to a controller. Not the best accuracy. Please be nice to me, guys. I am on the TS with a random sensitivity. I'm trying to make it work. Anyways, going into the next um, second round of things I would do is I would put it on big ball mode. And from here, I'd put maximum targets three. We're going to have uh, target move speed on walk and then target distance on random. Now, this is good to really warm yourself up just because of how random siege players can be. So as you can tell, like we have these guys just sitting over here moving at all random speeds. I mean, not random speeds at random heights. Um, I would suggest only doing one tap only. It's OK if you're inaccurate. You just want to want to be as slow as possible so you can get your first shot accuracy down. And it will make sense going into the next round of things that we will be doing. But just focus on hitting these balls nice one at a time, nice and accurate. Doesn't matter how slow you go, guys. Especially because if you guys are on a controller, man, it, it is very difficult to hit these balls. I would not know yet because I'm waiting for my lead controller to come in. So. I would suggest maybe doing two rounds of this just so you can, you know, Get more practice in practice makes perfect and for a game like siege that doesn't have aim assist this would do wonders honestly so go ahead and just have some fun turn on some music maybe put on drake and josh on the side monitor and just uh have that playing in the background to keep you focused anyways go back to options what we're going to do next is we're going to have all the same settings um besides round duration put it down to 30 and then movement speed you're going to put it on random you're going to want to do the same exact stuff try to one tap as many of these big balls as possible but as you can tell it is going to be random and the speeds differ so we have some that stand still we have some that um move fast some that are at weird angles this is just perfect because once again siege players are very random so this is going to be great just to warm yourself up and get ready for these ranked rats that you're going to play once again focus on one tap only for now because sure you will be spraying sometimes especially with multiple enemies but you'll see why we're only doing one tabs here next we're going to want to go back into options put it on 60 and we're going to try small ball maximum targets put it on one from here you're just going to want to put it idle and distance is going to be random once again just try with the one tabs this is really going to focus on your accuracy and your pinpoint and it honestly helps my eyes personally from what i've seen because it feels so weird just trying to track these you know little balls so <laughs> good luck on controller though guys if you're if you're finding that these are too hard you might want to try an uh, easier method maybe go on big balls and do this because small balls could be very difficult on a controller but if you want to get really get that crisp controller aim this is uh personally what i would do holy heck gotta reload uh oh now, personally, I don't like using the unlimited magazine because it's not really realistic, especially in Siege. So uh, the amount of times you're just going to be one tapping things um, for a lot of people it's not very normalized, but it's better to be almost in a simulation with a magazine capacity because a lot of people will forget that they have to, you know, reload their goddamn weapon. So this is just good. OK, now going over to 
options we want to go back and put it on 30 seconds put it on dummy put the dummy on 125 hp put the headshot only mode on i don't really think that these two matter by the way if you only put headshot only mode the hp but we're just gonna put it on just because um put the maximum targets over to three target speed is going to be random and distance going to be random here is when you're going to want to start practicing your sprays because a lot of you guys will panic in moments like this where you have all these enemies in your visual and you really don't know how to take the one so as you can tell like these two idiots right here and right here this guy's up there just vibe and not looking at you the only guy that's looking at you is this guy so you want to be able to be able to spray in between the enemies and be just consistent and focused and not panic now keep in mind guys i am on a random sensitivity on the test server because uh i luckily got you know a chance to play the test um this new season early via ubisoft so anyways i would do that maybe two or three times go back into options for the next run and put it on 15 seconds now with this i would put the target move speed on sprint and then target distance at random as well because this is going to kind of simulate the last two seconds of a round and how hectic it can truly be of course you're not gonna have enemies sprinting at you and being like this but as you can tell you want to try to just practice your tracking and just staying calm in this situation and knowing who to kill and where to aim i would say do this five times because it's only 15 seconds so it doesn't really matter and also don't worry about these numbers if you're sitting over here being sad that your accuracy is like a 16 and whatever whatever you can literally press tab and check out you know your statistics as you can tell as you get better and better guys you know your accuracy your headshot rating your total kills everything is going to go up and i i definitely believe that you guys are going to get better at siege playing doing this now next thing i would do is one watch this video right here on how to shiko peak at this timestamp and continue with this video <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on big ball just to practice for now we're gonna put it on one we're gonna put it at um we're gonna put it on idle and then target speed we're gonna put it on random what you're gonna want to be doing is using this window right here to shiko peek now the good thing about shiko peeking is it's to gain information so you can readjust your crosshair and either just retake a gunfight or retreat and this is what i'll be uh doing here so we're gonna want to shiko peek and then reposition your crosshair now i'm not as fluent as i used to be of shiko peeking to be honest but you get the gist i've been playing games like overwatch and you know chess so not really challenging my mechanical skill too much but you get the gist of it because the more you practice doing this the better you'll get at shiko peeking and you'll start using it in game a little bit more since you have the muscle memory down um more than usual because the only time you're usually ever going to be using the shiko peek is after watching you know <laughs> a higher ranked player do so and then you're gonna probably try to do it yourself and then forget about it but the practice is what makes perfect once again i feel like if i do this for like 30 days i would definitely get my shiko peeking back down to the point where my mechanics feel a lot more consistent but yeah you get the point so after the big balls what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the same drill except on tiny balls this is really hard so um if i were you i would maybe put it on 30 seconds just so you don't get too um fatigued do the same exact thing guys as you can tell the balls are so tiny i wish that you can change the color of the balls though because my reticle is red so anyway circle peeking really does help your mechanics overall and just your movement uh i would also say that this would also help your first accuracy and tracking because you're having to go from one angle to the other because once again you get the I can't hit these balls man you get the information and then you just have to readjust your first try accuracy as you can tell oof, shooting like a guy with hot dog thumbs last but not least over on dummies i would do, go back and put on 30 seconds movement speed is going to be random and target distance is also going to be random you're going to want to be doing the shako peak again except you're going to be spraying and not only one tapping just so you can get that simulation down that you're actually play, playing real humans and not you know a bunch of balls where's the third enemy did i put three or did i put two? Oh, there he is god so this is going to really help you simulate just how ranked is going to be now don't get me wrong there's going to be a very rare occurrence where people are just randomly crouched right here and not looking at you 
but it, it, will, it will happen here and there last but not least i would suggest putting it on 120 put it on uh big balls by the way in the in the future if a dev is somehow watching this please have the target type on on all so for example like this would be perfect right here if i was able to put all the balls on all um but anyways go go to small ball put maximum targets for i'm an idiot i had it on one and then let's just do random and try honestly everything that you just learned or they just practiced so for example you can do the one taps you can try tracking um doing this by the way while you're learning to track or trying to practice your tracking it will also be helpful and it can also tell you if you need to readjust your sense or you need to just practice a lot more because for example if you're going too fast on the ball that means your sensitivity is too fast if you're going too slow and you're just behind the ball that means your sensitivity is too slow so keep that in mind holy hell uh, uh anyways guys let me know down in the comments what your guys thoughts on this practice routine and what your thought is on like the new uh new practice mode i think this is a huge w for console players especially because you guys don't get aim lab on console and being on a controller is so difficult so learning uh, having this is going to be a good resource anyways guys if you guys like the video make sure that you guys like sub and comment and have a lovely day guys thank you so much subscribe